can make anything work this year, guys. We just have to be creative. From Martin County High School teacher Jamie Hurd Tessin. Anybody else have any ideas? Are you guys having any issues? This school year is anything but ordinary. It's been different this year, but it's not something that we can't accomplish together. She has students in person. Cool, fun activity. What about the rest of my remote learners? And online. I enjoy the processing. I like the challenge. I enjoy that opportunity to learn and grow. With 1,400 students plus staff members on campus, exactly, there's been a learning curve. Can you hear me now? One that might have them in the classroom one day and online the next. Everything's going smoothly there. And in the beginning of the year, we were looking at the board uh, so much more so. Principal Al Fabrizio is also faced with a new type of lesson plan how to do contact tracing. There's multiple scenarios. This board outlined some of the major steps in the process when someone tests positive for COVID-19. It's a little bit like teaching. The, you know, the goal is to get a little bit better every day. In the beginning of the school year, the Martin County School District would quarantine an entire classroom if one student tested positive. Now, with the help of permanent seating charts, they're able to see exactly which students had close contact so they don't have to unnecessarily send students home. Everybody just just jumps in. That process usually takes a team of up to 10 staff members about two hours from start to finish. It involves pulling a student's schedule, checking seating charts and attendance records, and mapping out close contacts, keeping in mind lunch seating and transportation, then notifying and removing the impacted students. We do this during the school day, but this also could be at 7 o'clock on a Tuesday night, or this could be two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. As of Friday, the district reported 33 cases of COVID-19 at Martin County High School and a total of 591 quarantines this school year. And even with my immune compromise like system, I feel safe here. Jamie says her husband built her this plexiglass barrier for her desk. I think he did a pretty good job for a pharmacist. And she's just grateful to be inside the classroom where she knows she makes a difference. We don't need a lot of extra things. We just need students to come and use what they have and we can make anything work. That's why Martin County says this semester it's going from surviving to thriving. Did we get all the projects going on right now? Stephanie Suskind. Does anybody else have any other project ideas that we're working on now? WPTV News Channel 5.